Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Sam, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be reviewing the game Borderlands 2. we got Knuckle Dragon with his 94 legs. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let Alex go ahead and do his thing. Hey, this is Alex, and today we're going to be reviewing Borderlands 2, the sequel to the game of the year, Borderlands. This is one of the hugest games of all time, and according to Sir Hamelock, it has 87 bazillion guns. Borderlands 2 is a game where you're trying to stop Handsome Jack from destroying Pandora completely. The Borderlands story is immense and the action is insane. There is not a moment in the game where you're bored. Alright guys, so if you pre-order this game, you get some special stuff. Uh, I think that if you start out in the beginning, you actually start out with some pretty good weapons. Uh, you also get the option to customize your character and use like heads, like you get like different masks and stuff, so I think that's pretty awesome. Borderlands 2 has four main characters that you can play. Single player mode is one, or play co-op with all four, two, or three. Alright, Axon is one of the main playable characters in this game. He is just like Roland from the last game, The Soldier. He is uh, on his wanted poster, he's wanted for war crimes and stuff like that. And his main ability is to throw down an awesome turret, like from Borderlands 1. Maya the Siren is another playable character in Borderlands 2. She is like the Siren from Borderlands 1. She has different abilities in Borderlands 2. In this one, she can phase lock people, which is putting them in balls and doing damage as she progresses in level. She is one of four, well, being a Siren. Alright, so now I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about Salvador the Gunzerker, or as we like to call him, the Wife Beater. Uh, he's a pretty bad boy. He's got a big one on the list. I'm going to go ahead and read that out to you guys. Salvador was wanted for manslaughter, theft, arson, destruction of property, trespassing, cannibalism, public indecency, profanity, and the fine is that is $99 trillion.99. Salvador can dual wield guns, and his specialty is to gun zerk. And last but not least on our list is Zero as a Number, or the Assassin. He is wanted for political assassination. And he is a really good with melee weapons, very good with melee weapons. And his special attack is he goes invisible, and he's invisible, and then he comes and kills you. It's a very good attack. Now we're going to talk to you about Handsome Jack. Handsome Jack is the enemy in this game with a comical sense of humor, but he's the enemy. So you laugh, but then you also hate. Claptrap is back and funnier than ever. Claptrap is still CO4PTP, and he's still... One of the best characters in the game. Annoying at times, but still one of the most memorable characters of Borderlands. The old Vault Dwellers are back in Borderlands 2. We have Roland, Lilith, Brick, and Mordecai. They're all back to join you in the fight to stop Handsome Jack. This game is really fast-paced, and there's so much to do in this world of Pandora. Way more than Borderlands 1. There is more quests, more guns, more enemies. I mean, just more everything. This game is 20 times better than Borderlands 1. It's amazing, and if you want a good game, this is the game you should get. If I had to rate Borderlands on a 1 to 10 scale, I'd probably give it a 9. It is a very good game with very little flaws. It is a well-put game, and it's put up to his name, and it's every everything everybody's been expecting. It's one of the best games of the year. And it's really fun. If you want a game, go out and buy Borderlands 2. Thanks for joining us on Game Reviews. This is Alex. And I'm Sam. Signing off. Join us next time when we review another great game or bad game.